He never saw the ship that killed him. It's 1943. You're a German U-boat commander, veteran of the happy time, when Allied ships burned night after night and you were the hunter. Tonight feels the same, moonless, calm, you surface to charge batteries, scan the empty Atlantic and think, nobody can see us out here, but someone can. Question, how do you fight an enemy you never see who finds you with math? For years, you boats thrived because the ocean was chaos. Escorts were few. Radar was weak. At night, a submarine on the surface was almost invisible. So what changed? First, radio. Every time you report a convoy, allied operators use high-frequency direction finding, huff duff to draw lines on a map. One line from Canada, one from Britain. Where they cross, that's you. Your message isn't just heard. It's located. Then, centimetric radar. New sets on patrol aircraft and escorts can pick out a tiny conning tower in the dark in rough seas. Your radar detector? Useless. It can't even hear these new frequencies. You still trust the night. The night no longer cares. And finally, the killer you never knew by name, Hedgehog. On the surface, it's just a strange spiked mortar on a destroyer's bow. Underneath, it's pure statistics. Instead of rolling depth charges and hoping, Hedgehog throws a pattern of bombs ahead of the ship designed by mathematicians to maximize the chance that one will meet your hull. No explosions, clean miss. One explosion. Almost certain kill. So you dive, you rig for silent running, you wait. Above you, nobody is guessing. They're following tables, firing solutions, probability curves. You thought war was courage versus courage, captain versus captain. But the battle of the Atlantic ends another way, not when the bravest man wins, but when the better equation does.